This is Greg Troutwine with Marine Technology Reporter, and we're very pleased to be joined today by Marcus Kolb, the Chief Product and Innovation Officer for Video Ray. And we're here, obviously, at the Oceanology International in London. And Marcus, per usual, the Video Ray stand is hopping. Absolutely. You have a lot of product and technology, and I think you have your hand on a new piece of kit that you'd like to discuss. I do. It's my new uh, robot baby. Uh, she's, it's called Ally. This is a new small vehicle for us. It's a uh, four thruster design. So it's got two uh, aft thrusters and then two transverse thrusters. So we can get lateral uh, and vertical out of uh, just four thrusters. So this is our, our low end uh, design. It uses exactly the same parts as our Video Ray Defender. So it's a great entry vehicle. It's got some great features over our uh, Pro 5 vehicle. The Pro 5 vehicle is a very capable vehicle, but it can't do lateral. So it makes positioning difficult. And one of the great added features is uh, we have a, a location for a, a Doppler velocity log. So that gives us X and Y position along with our compass. Now we can do uh, go to waypoints and it can hold station just in this tiny little vehicle. <clears throat> Another cool feature while I'm on the bottom we have a gripper, which we have in the Pro 5, but now when you pick something up over three pounds, it swings straight down and we've got, it's directly over our thrust line. What that means is we can now lift 10 kilograms, 22 pounds in this teeny little vehicle. So it's really cool. And if it drops it, it swings back and you can go and try again. Most of the time you want to retrieve something off the bottom. You can grab it, pick it up. And as you pull it out of the water by the, by the tether, uh, it just swings forward and makes it really easy instead of it being locked down, which would be a, a mess to try to recover, you know, from your boat. So um, the sonar itself is adjustable for five degrees up. Uh, it'll do 10 or 15 degrees down and you just lock a pin and uh, it locks in place. So it's not, it sounds like there's a lot of flexibility for whatever someone would like to use it for. It really is a lot of flexibility. In fact, the, and the big thing over the Pro 5, uh, in addition to all those features, is we can pop the top float off and put a, a larger square float that gives us excess buoyancy. The buoyancy is uh, for larger payloads, but it's particularly made to carry our standard battery. This is a battery that's available in nickel metal hydride or lithium ion, 300 meter or one kilometer rated. So this vehicle is 300 meter rated. So you take a 300 meter battery. Nickel is easy to ship very easy to ship anywhere you want. Um, it pops on a little adapter, and now you've got over four hours of runtime. Uh, and you can use a thin tether, uh, copper tether. It's only four and a half millimeters in diameter. So to do that, you just pop the float off and uh, put on our square float. Everything's tucked in. You can see it's arranged neatly, and uh, all thrusters are identical. This is our po power module, one and a half kilo uh, kilowatts. There's a comms module that gives us uh, 100 megabit ethernet, 12 volt, 24 volt, and RS-485 digital data bus. And there's five ports. So um, lots of room for expandability. One of the coolest features about this is uh, our camera. We came up with a new camera that's a 4K. You can see it live in the background there. So it's a, it's a 4K, very wide field of view camera. Um, I'll talk about that in a minute, but the real beauty of that camera is it has a Jetson Orin NX brain. So this is an AI machine learning supercomputer that's gonna come with every vehicle. Why is that important? Because it gives us tremendous capability to do image processing as well as autonomy. Um, what we're doing is providing a camera system with open, uh, everything's open. So it'll be DDS for vehicle control locally. Uh, it'll work with Green Sea and um, You'll be able to drop different packages in there to do everything from autonomy to really advanced image processing, automatic target recognition, um, image clarification, it, video servoing. I mean, it's endless. I know, I know the ability to see clearly underwater is always important, but can you talk me through a little bit about the development phase? Why was it developed? Was it a direct customer research, uh, request? So we needed a replacement camera. We started looking at camera interfaces and for not a whole lot more money, we could put an AI supercomputer. And once we knew we could fit it in the same form factor as our current camera, <clears throat> uh, with a little bit of trick, we extend it out, use a smaller dome, but the AI supercomputer is inside. 
it opens up a whole new world. So with a couple of Navy programs, we had an external bolt-on processor that uh, allowed us to do very high levels of uh, semi-autonomous behaviors. And uh, now it can all be onboard, onboard the camera. So it's really the big news isn't just the camera. It, the camera's great. It lets us do all new things. It's 4K. It's, uh, it's actually fixed. There's no tilt. We have a 200 degree vertical field of view and 160 wide. So it's super wide. So you get that fisheye effect like you see here. It's not too bad, but we actually unwarp it, which we're not showing here, but we, we essentially make a rectilinear image from a fisheye image in software. So that, that AI supercomputer that's in there has so much power that this only takes a, a, a little bit of a couple of cores to do all this heavy duty image processing. One of those is also um, image clarification. So if the water's hazy, um, it can remove a lot of that and increase contrast. It does a wide dynamic range, kind of a feature you, you hear about every now and then. It's a big thing. It, it does it automatically. It does automatic color correction. Um, all those great things, and there's more to come.